Hey there guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, I just wanted to show how to reset Windows 10. There are a couple of options to do so, and uh, this is basically if you want to do a clean install, if you wanted to uh, reinstall Windows 10 and keep all your files, as well as a new option in Windows 10 uh, 2004, where you can actually download a complete new um, file of the operating system so if you have a corrupted file system uh, you don't have to worry about using what you already have so let's go ahead and get into it so the first method I want to show is how to reset Windows 10 and keep your files so uh, basically what that means is you'll be keeping all the files but not the applications so uh, any applications that you previously downloaded, you will have to download again once this is completed. So to do this, you'll click the start button here. You're going to the settings icon here. Once settings opens, you're going to look for the update and security. And under that section here, you'll see on your left hand pane, you have a couple of options. So uh, recovery is the option we're choosing here. And under this, we're going to choose reset this PC. What this says, if your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them and then reinstalls Windows. So we'll go ahead and click get started under reset this PC. And then what we have here are two different options. So we have keep my files, which will remove the apps and settings, but keep your personal files and then remove everything, which will remove all your personal files, apps and settings. So what I wanted to show here is that I have two files here as well as a program. So I have Google Chrome, which I've downloaded, and then a Windows desktop photo, as well as a text document. So what will happen is once we click keep my files, it will only keep the files, but the app will go away. So if we hit keep my files, we'll get two more prompts, and this is actually new in the newest version of Windows 10. So Windows 10 2004 was released in May of 2020, and these are this is a new option here what traditionally would happen is it would reinstall windows from the existing windows install already on your pc now say you have a virus or you have a corrupted uh, installation of windows 10 you can also now do a cloud download which is great which will actually replace the existing installation now this is four gigs or more of data so it will take a long time to do so we're not going to do that this time, but I do wanted to, I did want to show this option, which is great. So if you feel that you have a corrupted version of Windows 10 on your PC and you think you need a new version, go ahead and click that cloud download. Just be aware that the time it will take will be quite a while, depending on your connection as well as the speed of your PC. In this case, we're going to do a local reinstall. And then what we have here is the additional settings, reinstall Windows 10 from this device, hit next. And now it gives, you a, uh, it gives you a guide of what's going to happen. So resetting will change settings back to their defaults, keep your personal files, reinstall Windows 10 from the device itself, remove all apps and programs. And then it also gives you an option to view the apps that will be removed. So you can see that it's going to remove Google Chrome, which I had referenced before, Microsoft OneDrive, and then the Oracle Virtual Machine VirtualBox Editions. So, but what I wanted to show was that Google Chrome will be then removed. And then this will, tell you, this will tell you that it'll take a while to restart. So we'll go ahead and hit reset. Okay, and here we are back after it has uh, reinstalled Windows. And as you can see, we get this pop-up with the internet telling us, uh, welcome to your new version of Windows. And if we close out of that here, uh, we can see on the desktop that we still have our files that we had previously, as well as a removed apps HTML file, which will give you the same information that you received previously, uh, showing you the apps that were being removed. And there we have it. Now say you want to do a clean install of Windows 10 where all files and everything will be erased and you'll have a clean slate. What you'll want to do is click start, go to settings, go to update and security. On this left pane, you're going to go to recovery. And then under recovery, you'll see reset this PC and you'll hit get started. We're given the two options we previously had. So keep my files or remove everything. In this case, we are going to do a, a clean install of Windows 10. So we'll hit remove everything. 
We're now given the option between a cloud download and a local reinstall. This is for Windows 10 2004 and above. Now a cloud, down a cloud download will be great if you have had viruses or have corrupted files on your Windows installation. In this case, what will happen is you will download a complete version of Windows 10 from Microsoft's website, and that can be four gigs or more, which will take quite a bit of time. Now, if you want to do a local reinstall that basically uses the existing Windows 10 installation, you'll just click local reinstall. In this case, that's what we're going to do. Now we have under our additional settings, the current settings, remove apps and files, do not clean the drive and reinstall Windows from this device. Now we can go in here and change the settings here. So you do have that download Windows option, which is that cloud download, and then the clean data option. Now what this is for is if, say, you are selling or you are giving away your PC, you want to definitely turn this on. This will clean the drive, and it says it may take hours, but it makes it harder to recover files. So if you do have personal files you don't want someone to get from your PC, what this does is it erases your hard drive multiple times. It does multiple wipes so that any data can be unrecoverable. So that is something you definitely want to do if, say, you're selling or getting rid of your PC. If you are just clean installing for yourself, I would just leave that as no, and that will make it a lot quicker of a process. Now once you've confirmed these settings, go ahead and hit confirm you get that confirmation of the settings that you've chosen and we're going to click next and the final prompt here we get is uh, ready to reset this PC and it gives you an overview of what will happen so resetting will remove all personal files and user accounts on this PC remove any changes made to settings remove all apps and programs reinstall Windows from this device and then it says it will take a while and PC will restart and from here we'll go ahead and hit reset all right, and after a little while, uh, you are brought to the out-of-box experience for Windows 10. And this is, uh, as I said, starting completely over. So you get to choose your selections to uh, get Windows 10 um, into the desktop. And then you can go from there to customize everything uh, as you want to. All right, so there you have it. So this has just been a quick video on how to reset Windows 10 through the Windows 10 settings, whether you want to keep your files or if you want to start with a clean slate. So hopefully this helped you out if this is what you're looking for. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave a comment down below and hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, hit that like button and if you want to see more like this, consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next video.